So what we're going to do now is just rewrite the numerator. 3y minus x over yx. And of course we're going to bring this up, but remember we got to flip this so this becomes 5x cubed y over 6. So now we've got to ask the question, what's going to be canceling out? Well, we have a y in the denominator, we have a y up here in the numerator, an x, and three x's. So we're going to, let's see, okay, so x, so we're going to be left with two x's and a five up here. So I'm going to rewrite this as five, start a parentheses, three y minus x. Um, y cancels out, and I ended up not writing, let's see, there's going to be two x's, and I didn't write that right there. Uh, we'll write it right here. Over, and what's going to be left in the bottom, we have a 6, y cancelled out, and an x cancelled out, and that's it. So. And we'd normally, if we're going to write a 6 in the bottom, we'd like to write it right here in the middle. Okay. Write it in the middle. Okay. Man, we are moving along. Before you know it, we'll be into college algebra, and then you'll be learning trigonometry, and then we'll move to calculus, and then you'll learn differential equations. linear algebra, discrete mathematics, maybe advanced Cal, abstract algebra, and you know what? You'll be a math major. Okay, amazing. Then you can go get your job at uh, Lockheed Martin or somewhere. Or maybe Raytheon or something like that. 1 over x to the fourth minus 1 over y to the fourth and that's going to be all over 1 over x squared and if I get a chance I'll be doing some chemistry and physics pretty much everything I learned in college 1 over y squared and uh, if I even get more time, we'll learn Java and JavaScript and some programming languages. Yay! Okay, let's look at the numerator up here. Uh, let's take care of that first. Okay? And, I don't know, I'll write it over here. What the heck? Um, we got to get a common denominator. So I'm going to write y to the fourth over y to the fourth times... 1 over x to the fourth minus 1 over y to the fourth and we're going to be writing x to the fourth over x to the fourth here. Okay, so rewriting all this, y to the fourth times 1 is just going to be y to the fourth and of course that's over y to the fourth times x to the fourth fourth minus x to the fourth over y to the fourth x to the fourth okay so we want to get this uh, one single fraction here we got y to the fourth minus x to the fourth over y to the fourth and x to the fourth. Okay, that takes care of the numerator. Now let's, uh, let me just put a square around all that. Box it in. Then we'll work on the denominator. So this is going to end up being y squared over y squared times 1 over x squared plus 1 over y squared times 